Hello and welcome back. Okay, we are in a hideout after being attacked by a sneaky, sneaky Terminator. Oh, trade. Trade everything. I know what I need to sell. I need to sell everything. So this actually is worth 200. 200, yeah. 200. So we're gonna sell this. There's no quick way to sell. Okay, fine. Whatever. I'm just gonna sell the good old fashioned way. Energy cells, um, explosive materials, a lot of stuff. Uh, okay. Okay, let's just sell all this crap. Okay, some of the, them are better, but usually, like, they're not super relevant. And also, I have so many of them. That you, there you go. Now, she has 5,000 bucks. I just say bucks. Whatever. And she wants to sell me all these med kits. One at a time. <laughs> all these bullets. Thankfully, not one at a time. The pipe grenades. Oh, we can buy some crap. We can buy ammo. We can buy bullets. And we don't need the guns. Um, okay, okay, so that's just trash. Uh, let's accept transaction for now. We can craft. Mm, I don't I don't know if I want to just carry around all the crafting crap with me. It feels that like crafting is optional, which I very much like, you know? We can, instead of crafting, just sell the crafting materials and not worry about crafting at all. Although, you have to craft some things. Like the lockpicks. Actually, I'm not sure if you have to craft it. I don't know if you have to craft it at all. But it seems like crafting is optional. We don't have to craft. Metal scraps. I might just sell this. Because I, I just have too much. And this way, if he finds something... Um, okay, fine, let's sell that. Of course, like, there's a limitation here, because... Actually, I might be able to buy back the stuff, so she can be holding it on, holding on to this stuff for me, right? But, yeah, we can buy from her, and uh, just, uh, yeah, we're gonna... No, 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 yeah, accept the transaction, and just see what we need. So, what we need... Do I need mad kit? I mean, not really, but, you know, we can, we can go with that. I wouldn't mind some pipe grenades. But ultimately, that, that's kind of it. Like, there's nothing else we really need here. I would most likely just go with, like, maybe some metal scraps, chemicals, and explosives. So we can go with that. Metal. So if you look at that, metal scraps, chemicals, and explosives. Wait, explosives? Oh, shit. Explosives are... Wait, this cost... 10 bucks a piece. Wait, how many grenades we make? We make one. So, it, it needs an item that costs 10. Plus, it needs... That. So, it's already 30. It costs 34 to make. And it's only costs 30 to buy. Damn. Crafting. What a scam. <laughs> you can't even make money with it. What the hell? Um, yeah, I mean, what about the, the mad kit? Well, mad kit is always handy, yeah? I mean, this is chemicals and fabrics. If you look at that, this is chemicals. We can buy 12 chemicals and buy... And because the trading is, is just uh, equal, uh, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, so this is basically my storage here. Although, it would be a little better if I actually had a storage. But whatever. Yeah, we're gonna accept the transmission. Just come over here. Craft six med kits. All of those. And we're good. That's it. And now we're most likely not going to die. Uh, so, who can we talk to? Laura. 
the girl I saved and apparently I couldn't talk to, but now may maybe we can. And maybe she would have not shown up if... Uh, maybe she would be dead now if I didn't save her. Hey, you're off again? I'll see you later. I'm gonna stay here and help Aaron. She looks a little weird, like she's... She's pushing her neck forward? It's a little odd. I mean... Odd posture. <clears throat> anyway, Aaron? Morning. Patrick came to me earlier, asking if I thought you'd like his present. When I saw that it was a single bullet, I wasn't sure if he was being helpful, or if it was a warning. I figured he didn't appreciate you looking at his sister like that. What? That was a perfect gentleman. Uh, Aaron's story, do you need help with anything? I, I probably should just turn on the subtitles. Can we do that? I can't do that, but we're gonna do that uh, after this. Do you need help with anything? Do you need help with anything? No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? How did you know about the, the Annihilation line? How did you become a doctor? That's a pretty good opener. How did you become a doctor? Like anyone else before the war. I studied. Not that it matters, but I'm not technically a doctor. Judgment Day got in the way of graduation. But not only did my medical training save other people's lives, it even saved mine. I was spared when a bunch of us got captured by the machines. Maybe they thought it would be worth having a doctor in there. I don't know. Hmm. What happens at these camps? What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? Uh... Well, actually I'm pretty happy with this. She has a story. She doesn't seem like the usual companion or usual person to necessarily share their story. And usually they are younger, but you know... Okay. This is exactly what I want to hear about in this kind of game. About the camp. About that camp. What do you want to know? Um, how did the machines communicate with you? Like, are they are they possible? Are they capable of just blending in? Because so far, you know, they can they can mimic, they can perfect the outward appearance, but every time they get close, it's like I'm a terminator. I'm gonna terminate you. So, it's kind of a dead giveaway. So, how did they communicate with you? How did the machines communicate with you? There was this one machine. We called it Nurse Ratchet. It was designed to look almost friendly. It wore an awful, smiling, rubber human face. At the end of every week, it took the weakest of us for experimentation. My cellmate, Karen, was pregnant. I knew that was a one-way ticket to the grinder. So I had to plan an escape. You made it? Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Did Skynet ever notice she was pregnant? Well, we tried to keep it a secret, but when she started showing, they informed me that after the birth, I would have to kill the baby. Otherwise, hmm. they would execute the whole cage. The baby came early, and Karen died giving birth. She didn't even get to see her child. I had to take action. Me and one other prisoner took the child, and we got to the disposal room, where we covered ourselves with dead bodies. Then we just lay there, waiting for them to throw us out. And they did. They dumped us outside the camp, ready for the grinder. Uh, were you still behind the annihilation line? Did they go after you? I should just uh, keep asking the 
the questions about the camp. Did they go after you? We heard an alarm, but we were already far away. They hunted us at first, but they had more important things to do than running after two nobodies with a baby. We ran to protect her, but deep down we were preparing for the worst. Anyway, you're healthy, right? And your bones don't look broken, so stop bothering me. Okay. How's Mark doing? How's Mark doing? Not great. We barely have any medicine left. But hopefully, Jennifer will bring back some antibiotics from that hospital. The protagonist's voice oh, has this hesitation to it. How do you feel about Colin's death? So, let's see how he says it. How do you feel about Colin's death? What do you want me to tell you? That I feel guilty? That I care? Right now, I'm a little more concerned with the living than the dead. Cool. I mean, I'm, I'm just still trying to bond with you guys, so I finally start giving uh, a damn about anybody dying. <laughs> uh, do you want to join the resistance? Do you think you could help more people by joining the resistance? <sighs> Honey, maybe ask me that question when you finally find them. Because for now, I don't think they even exist. <gasps> oh man. Why do I have a feeling? <clears throat> and I don't wanna spoil anything. I don't know jack shit. But I guess I'm just gonna run my my mouth here and uh, theorize. Because I, I'm I I don't wanna spoil it. I don't know. I can't spoil it, but I I'm just I'm I just have this 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 twist that I can foresee, if if that's possible, is that I'm a Terminator, and the reason I don't, I'm not with the Resistance, is because <clears throat> I am tasked to find the Resistance. Okay. I'm just gonna play no, along. Sit. Roll over. Fetch. We've got a lot to learn. That's not how dogs work. All you need is. Seb? The fuck? That's not all I need. I need a lot more than Seb. <clears throat> no! Okay, so we have some medium locks here, but I can pick it. Oh, the. Fine. It's not that annoying to pick these locks. So, it's fine. Fabric. Okay. Oh. Big box of stuff. That's money. Mad kit too. Maybe I'll go for the... The second row of items. That's gonna make it less... Uh, punishing to carry around a bunch of crafting materials. And I ultimately want to pick up everything. I know about the door here. No. No, I'm right. No! Okay. Raiding resource. <clears throat> no one cares about this. No one can... Not even pick the lock, but like nobody bothered to break in. Oh, explosive materials? Okay. Oh. Energy cells, and that's it. Ultimate, like, selling it. So, my inventory is again full of trash. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> Whatever. We're heading out. No more trades. Hey, Ryan. You wanted to talk to me? Oh, first, first of all, thank you for subtitles. bringing me that toolkit. That bus should be ready in no time. Good to see you finally turned the corner. I wanted to talk to you. I'm starting to get worried about Jennifer. It's been a while since she left, and at my age, I try to worry as little as possible. If you see her out there, send her back, okay? Done and done, old man. <clears throat> I understand, but like some of you might not, so I just I just try to be uh, uh try to consider that. <clears throat> 
how that bus is coming along? Do you remember uh, Judgment Day? You should. Do you remember Judgment Day? I do. That's right. I'm that old. My memory ain't as good as it used to be. However, there are some images that stand out in my mind. My brother Tucker hitting on this lady guard or people covered in mud. But for the life of me, <laughs> I can't remember the name of that band. Huh. Your brother? Um, I guess he doesn't anymore. <clears throat> you have a brother. I, I did. Older brother. Well, he was a ladies' man. We didn't have tickets to the concert, but he knew how to charm a lady. She let us in. Well, him. <laughs> I tagged along like I always did. Yeah, it was one of those outdoor festivals. When we got in, we decided to climb this metal tower to get a bit of a view of the stage, you know. So as we're watching this band play their hearts out, we see a burst of bright, ugly light. I went blind for a while. Wait, what? So your brother charmed himself into a concert. The likelihood that uh, the ticket person <laughs> was a was a man was pretty it's pretty high. But maybe even even if it was a woman, because that's kind of the story. I don't know. Imagine that, like a woman uh, sitting in a booth uh, with like two bodyguards nearby, and people are just trying to get in, and there's just some some schmuck walks up called Dick Tucker, and uh, he charms her. What the fuck? Couldn't you look away? I went a little bit off track here. <laughs> Couldn't you look away? Well, there's no escaping it. It lit up the sky, lighting every peak and ridge in the nearby mountain range. Something only a nuclear bomb could do. With my bloodshot eyes, the only other thing I could see clearly was uh, people below me being crushed. The tower we were clinging onto started shaking. I finally gave in after the shockwave from the explosion. I closed my eyes and it started falling onto the people below. Oh. Oh. What am I thinking of? I'm usually a lighthearted guy. Why don't we talk about something more positive? Oh, God, I remember the name of that band now. It was Captured by Robots. Captured by Robots? Huh. Ryan, I, I don't buy your story. I mean... Uh, you seeing the apocalypse up close, that's just pretty unlikely. But you getting let in to a concert by your brother charming the ticket lady? Fucking bullshit, Ryan. Stop lying to me. Captured by robots. This is obviously a, a Terminator trying to uh, blend in. Uh, how's the bus, bus coming along? How's that bus coming along? I'll make a run again, don't worry about it. Besides a couple of rusty rotors, it's got a whole lot of character. The question is, where do we go from here? I don't know. Travel to the hospital district? By the way, I decided to share my, my just some dumb, <laughs> dumb idea about uh, me being a Terminator. Because... I really hope that I'm wrong because the best kind of twists and uh, are just completely unforeseen. You know, I, I can't guess it. Like it's gonna be something that you know you just have no idea what's happening. And you know, if I'm right, then I would, that could be still cool. But like you know, we shall we shall see. I will always have like some theories. I might just uh, start firing, and uh, maybe I, I will be right. Upgrade your backpack skill to carry more items. Wow. <clears throat> Maybe I just get better at packing stuff. Skynet chips can be sold at any store. Yeah, but... Can I use Skynet chips? Okay. I like that the crafting table is optional. Uh, crafting bench is optional. Find Yennefer. Okay, Yennefer, I'm trying to find you. Oi, where are you? I'm feeling a pretty... Oh, shit. 
Is that all? I didn't forget about this. It's, that looks like... Maybe Yennefer? That looks like a feminine form. From distance. Maybe I'm wrong. Is that Yennefer? Don't sneak up on me like that. It's bad enough with those creepy noises. Shh, forgot. What forgot noises? Subtitles again. Every once in a while, there's this unbearable scream coming from that hospital. We need to see what's going on. Let's move. Load back. All right. Options. Is it possible to turn it on? Yes. Hell yeah. Okay. So. <clears throat> I'm not shooting at you, Jennifer. Possible love interest, I don't know. Let me. Picking locks is kind of my thing. Wait, that's my thing. You gotta have something else. Voila. Stop showing off. I could do that too. I'm a capable man. But your oh, help is appreciated. Geez. Looks like a silverfish got him. What? Or every scavenger's nightmare. Silverfish? Ooh, look. This poor guy is still holding a sound decoy. Sound decoy? You resistance guys just shoot at everything that moves, don't you? Silverfish are sensitive to noise. So before it pops up from the ground and starts chasing, you throw a sound decoy. It'll draw any nearby silverfish away. I guess you can take it. He won't be needing it anyway. Cool. Did you hear that? That's the sound I was talking about. I don't think you should go any further. And what about you? I have to go. That could be the resistance. I understand. I uh, feel stupid asking you this, but Aaron wanted me to find some antibiotics for Mark. <sighs> I know I'm not making it easy on you, but if you're in there and you find some, she... We would really appreciate it. I'll see what I can do. And remember that your gun won't do you any good against Terminators. So when you see one, do what I do. Sneak past them. I'll be waiting for you at the hideout. Take care. Bullshit, Jennifer. I'll I'll find a way to kill those suckers. Don't worry about it. Okay, fine. And me being a Terminator would make a lot of sense. Would it would uh explain my amnesia, me knowing not not knowing anything. And my See, obsession to find the resistance. Why the hell you. are so eager to go back. It's in the basement of a building off the main street. Nice. It will help you get inside that hospital. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. There will be a time for that, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was either him or you. And it couldn't have been you. Hello? That Terminator only attacked me. To sell my cover to the resistance. I'm a Terminator. Beep boop robot. That's what I'm gonna go with. <laughs> Stuff. Oh, big bag. Oh, 400 money. I'll be taking that, mister. Maybe they just chose this trade value. Is the silverfish of mine? What is this? Oh, what? It's some kind of a... Uh... I don't know. I, I, I assume this is some kind of explosive. It dies from one shot. Tries to make it hard to hit it. Okay. Obviously, this is designed for for players uh, to be able to deal with it. And yeah, you know, you know, they, they can put in mines that are total bullshit. But no, no games do that because it's frustrating as hell. I, I assume because you just walk around and like, no, 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 dead. That's what real mines are. These are like super obvious from the distance. 
You know, something comes out, you also have some time to blow it up. I don't mind it. Dealing with real... This is a little unrealistic, I have to say. Bad design robots. But at the same time, it would be total bullshit to deal with real mines. Oh my. They become rolling. Oh, so this is how we get a lot of explosive uh, parts. Although I'm not exactly sure how we get the explosive parts. Oh shit. Armored spider. Okay, that's was half HP. Oh shit. Oh my god, it's very tanky. And it's really not worth killing. Oh, did this blow up when I killed the armored spider? This is cool. We run into tougher enemies that... But, gotta be sad. I, I like the variety. Not just like dumb like, oh yeah, I'll shoot it. But not just like, you know, not just like damage sponges of like, yeah, you know, they are all just like... You kind of need a different approach maybe a little bit and they're different i like it what? what's going on here oh shit oh no oh fuck that's a kill i like it i like it i like it a lot fuck yeah wait wait what was the last time i it was auto save Game? Oh snap! I see you're back on your feet. Oh you. my god! I left you a hacking device. It's in the basement of a building off the main street. It will help you get inside that hospital. Right now, you need to start answering some questions. Oh my god! You gotta be, be damn careful. That, but right now, you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, I take it all back. It was either him or you, and it could. Hello? These exploding robots are no jokes. I just assume that if you have max HP, then maybe you wouldn't die instantly. But damn right. So, now this changes quite a bit. Because I assume that maybe you don't die instantly, but you do. So, these are actually super dangerous. And how uh, awkwardly they attack you is actually kind of justified. Because if they get you silently, it's fucking game over, man. Okay. By the way, I won't be like uh, relying on heavy edits or whatever just to, you know, just try to keep the story moving. Because for me, like losing, no, no, that, that's just it. Like for the games, like, you know, setbacks are part of the experience. So I'm just gonna like, you know, edit out parts of, I, I, for me, that's part of the experience and that's what I like to watch and that's what I like to do. So yeah, I and mean, that's just fun. Getting blown up is fun. But we need to be- OH SHIT! <laughs> no! Holy fuck. <laughs> okay. Plan B. <laughs> that scared me. Oh my fucking you god. <clears throat> you! I left you a hacking device. It's in the basement of a building off There's the some main stuff street. here? It will help you get inside that hospital. Okay, maybe we need right a- Right now, you need to start answering some questions. A plan? Plan B here when dealing with those suckers. There will be a time for that, but right now you need to help the people inside. As for Colin, there was nothing I could have done. It was I'm too reckless. You, and it couldn't have been you. Hello? Up to this point. Oh, this 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 guy's like, oh yeah, go to the hospital. I'm like, okay, I'm going there. Not gonna be that easy, apparently. Uh, I wonder if this uh, night vision actually helps us identify these uh, machines better. Although, as far as I know... Oh yeah, we, we can actually fire. But not... Yeah, I mean, 
we can fire, but not like I have to remove it, then fire. Oh, yes. Yo, yes. This is what we need. So this way, we're not gonna miss any. Oh. Yeah, because it's hard to see. Come over here, roller guy. And sometimes uh, two activates at the same time. And you get screwed. So, <laughs> I mean, guess so. Uh, I mean... That's how I uh, died. Okay, this is cool. Just gotta be careful. Ah, I missed the, the second one last time. But we're good. Oh, we see a drone moving around. Couldn't really see it with bare eyes. Rollers. <laughs> it's not what I wanted. Uh, just loot a little bit here. Stop. Inside, maybe. Oh, no, nothing there. I might just rebind it. Uh, this night vision to a more convenient option. Like Q, and uh, I don't know, rebind the grenade to something else. Maybe it's original. Alt key. I do want to use the grenade a lot. I don't know. Oh, I know. I know. Let's just let's just quickly fix this. So we're gonna bind. Um. Where is V? Detective mode to Q. Yes. And now we can throw grenades. But. Yes. But we're gonna make grenade throws. C. And C was an extra crouch. Which is just totally pointless. So apply. Although C is gonna be a little uh, trippy. It's not something I usually think of when I wanna throw grenades. But maybe I'm just gonna get used to it. But we can just quickly uh, switch to night vision this way. In a more convenient way. Without me, actually. Well, maybe we're not gonna die to robots. Uh, not that the default keybinds are bad. Not at all. They're, they're kind of good, but maybe for... They're maybe a little safer. I, I don't really care for the radio menu that we have access to here. Hey, where's my... That should be there. <laughs> Chips. So apparently, I was warned of Terminators, and we might run into some Terminators here. Oh shit, Armored Spider. Spider. Okay, I like the shotgun. And it's not completely useless from range, like in some games. It's like, oh no, he's standing two meters away from you. No, it did no damage. You need to put the shotgun in his mouth. And that's the old Oh shit. I thought this was destroyed. And that's the only way. Okay, we gotta be damn careful here. I'm not sure which way I wanna go, but I think we have to be careful. Yeah, that those are the side missions, and this is uh, where we have to go for the main mission. Might as well do it now. 
Okay. I'm coming, boys. Oh, lockpick easy. Okay. Sure. I mean, locking the door wouldn't really help against the machines. Maybe they, he just locked it as a, as a way to get some privacy. Ah, electric parts. Okay. Oh, hacking device. Yes! Hell yeah! And I can hack Skynet. Uh, this is it. Terminals and turrets. But, okay, I'm fine. Just because I have a hacking device doesn't mean I know how to hack, though. So we can get one pipe grenade, maybe. I'm like, let's get three of these suckers. These seem to be very useful. Also, at this point, I'm very tempted to just, uh, to just put more points into explosives. Actually, there's a skill in the game that allows me to take 10% less damage. And actually, we can stack it. So it's possible. It is possible. Although, it's not guaranteed. That if I, I put some points into that, or maybe even one point into that, then we don't get one shot by these rollers. And, uh, yeah, that would be nice. That would be pretty nice, because the, the difference between insta-kill and uh, not instantly losing the game, yep, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Even though healing up would cost us a lot, but, you know, I don't care about that. It seems like, you know, the resources in this game are not too restrictive, but they definitely encourage you to be, uh, you know, just not be dumb. No, you can't just like, you know, just waste resources non-stop. You know, I don't have like infinite um, grenades. I have six and one robot takes three grenades right now. Maybe if I upgrade it, then it takes two. This is not what I should use against these. They need an automatic weapon. Okay. Running out of ammo would, would have been pretty bad. So now we have a skill point. And I can go with more weapon damage. But what we probably should just go for is uh, ready, inactive. Why is it inactive? I do have a hacking device, don't I? I can go for some hacking, and I, I think we're gonna need that. We can go for hacking too. I don't know about crafting. Maybe we're not gonna heavily go into crafting, but I definitely wanna go into hacking. Okay. No more mines. And uh, if I look at the map... I would really like to save. Holy shit. Please. Oh, I don't like that. Apparently I can hack turrets. But this is gonna be damn hard to do. How do I hack it though? Do I have to go up to it? Oh, I, I know some information. Red plasma turret. hit this. Okay, let's go back. I wonder if I could control those turrets with the hacking device. I guess one way to find out. To hack Skynet devices, you have to move your icon to the right side of the screen while avoiding firewalls. Reaching the middle line saves your progress. Every collision into firewall will cost you one attempt point. Losing all attempt points means failure. Number of allocated attempt points depend on your hacking skill. Okay. Oh. So, frog pra uh, passing the, the highway. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm not that good at this. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, now we just have to do it. 
How many attempts I got? Zero. Oh yeah, I got I got more attempts. Okay, I, it's gonna be the done now. Oh, now I understand that. No, that was pretty dumb. There you go, master hacker. If this is not proof, then I don't know what is. Hey, I'm your bro. I can't. I can't punch it, it's it's friendly now. Wow. What's in here? Lockpick very easy. Sure. Huh. Aaron will appreciate that. Oh. Okay, cool. So Oh, now we can get in, right? Oh, hacking! Oh, upping my hacking skill. Maybe it doesn't enable me to hack higher level terminals. It just makes it easier to hack them. Easy. Too easy game. I understand now. Okay, maybe maybe they don't understand too much. Well done. Okay, the game saved apparently. Oh shit. We're dealing with the crossfire here. Okay. So do we get the bullets back? Or at least some of it? We're taking these suckers out because if so no these are not really drop bullets so these are just bullet sinks taking them out oh no i guess i can't hack the spider can't hack this I'm not here. I'm somewhere else. Sp spider saw me. Hey, spider boy. There's a minigun. I'm. There's no need to hide, to hide here. Robot, what else we got here? Sneaking grind just takes too long. Okay. I definitely wanted to make sure that these fights are very fair. Not super frustrating. And you know what? You know, I don't mind it. If they just uh, eased on the, you know, the careful side. Because it's better to make a game, you know, a little easier than very frustrating. Ultimately, these were just stationary turrets. And I'm a human. I cannot smart them. Okay. Very cool. Mad cat. Great resources. Okay, maybe. So, what's going on is morgue. I wouldn't mind check checking under the blanket to see uh, the state these corpses are in. You know, if you see a lot of decay, then can I just? No. What what would happen if I tried to run into it? I, I I would try that after a save, I think. But I'm not quite ready to make that kind of gamble right now. And I can't save in here. Game. 
Stop smoking. God. Wood, no tobacco day. I could make that all year, as far as I'm concerned. Game saved. Yes! But not like manual save. Oh, can I just run into this shit? Oh. It tickles and, and knocks me back. That's fine, you know. Not like, it's to death! Even if it even if it was like a deadly laser that just cuts you into pieces, you wouldn't just sprint into it. Hey, what's up, mister? He's from the resistance. The others have to be here too. What if the resistance is just total bullshit? And it doesn't exist. Oh my god. Doesn't he look like the the liquid terminator from T2? He totally looks that way. I mean, with the very luscious hair, but and also like, but yeah, yeah, his face. Okay, we're going the right way, I believe. I don't know how would you play this game if you had no lockpick. <laughs> like, you can't go anywhere. Oh, you can't go anywhere. But ultimately, this is an easy lockpick. Please? So, everyone can get in here. I'm not sure what you would go for if not lockpick. Something completely useless. Ooh. Oh shit, a T-800. Is it possible to kill the T-800? Oh my god, this is from Terminator. I can love this, but can we just sneak past it? I'm, I'm being given the information that we can't take them out. What? Skynet Plasma. Oh shit. Four sneaky Okay. I don't know if the time stops if I'm locked the king. I'm guessing no. Quick route. Oh, what is that? Nothing up here. This is just stuff. Fuck me. Oi! Skynet Plasma Air 95 uh, weapon uh, holding T-800 with help of 100% Would you fuck off? <laughs> I'm trying to go Oh yeah What? No. Oh come on At least check inside I'm definitely not here but like Oh yeah, I know what I should use. I should use those noise thingies, right? No, inventory. Yeah. Okay, not on this guy. Oh shit. Ah. It would be nice to have a weapon that can deal with them, but you know, this is a good introduction to these uh, Terminators. That most likely gonna be. Fuck! We can't deal damage to them. Oh, he's, he's down. Shit. Really? No, I'm not there. Three of them are coming my way. I don't know. This uh, sneaky location may may have dumbed down these guys a little bit more than it should have. Fuck me! I want to get in that door. You gonna eat one of these? Oh shit! Three bullets! Three bullets! Three bullets to take me out.
Okay, we definitely have to take this super seriously. Oh no. Okay. How does it work though? I, I kind of want to check that because I tried to shoot them in the face and that didn't work. So how does it work? The knocking terminators over part. We need that information to deal with them. So do I need to shoot them in the torso? Okay. Shooting them in the torso seemed to work. Oh my god, this is not the lockpicking experience I want. Quickest looter in the world. They're coming back up. Weapon ineffective, but they're still knocked over. Oh shit. Would you die? It seems like shotgun is not as reliable as I would like, but what about explosives? Do they like explosives? Oh, I know what I should do. I should just use those uh, distraction thingies, right? Fuck, let's do that. I don't think we can blow them up. I'm just giving these distraction thingies just to deal with them. Exp um. like my alarm clock. I'm over there. Fuck off. Oh, he's down. Okay, we're good. I'm not a sneaking expert. Go away! I don't know if we want to chance that door. I don't care what's inside there. It can't be worth my life. Did you hear that? So someone's coming. He's one of us. I'm a Terminator Private too. Jacob Rivers, Pacific Division. Pacific? What the hell happened up there? The whole division went silent. It was wiped out. I'm the only one who survived, and I need to meet with Commander Baron. All right, I'll make sure you get to do that. But first, get us out of here. Follow that staircase. It'll lead you to the main generator. Overload it, and turn off the laser grid. Understood. And Rivers, destroying that generator will make a lot of noise. So in case we get separated, where are you stationed? Just south from here. Okay, we'll find you. Baron will want to meet you. Very now big. go, and watch out for those medals. Also keep in mind, I said that my that the squad was wiped out. I survived. That doesn't mean. I mean, yeah, like this is English. I mean, that that could be, you know, that could mean that the squad was wiped out, but doesn't necessarily mean that I was part of the squad. I could be the person who wiped out the squad. So, we got a game safe here. Um, map? Okay, seems like we are getting to the uh, conclusion of this area. And we are dealing with some kind of a puzzle. Well, not puzzle, it's like a labyrinth. Very easy hack, let's do it. Okay, no problem. There you go. Stay calm. Okay. So... Can I get in here? Oh man, mini games. Come on. 
No one likes this game that much. Although it's maybe a little faster than the lockpick, that still doesn't mean that it's good. Although it, it's just so short that I kind of almost don't mind it. Because if I just give him like a two second, uh, you have to wait here and nothing happens. Uh, timer. Then, you know. Can I just... Oh, shit. Can I hack a plasma turret and make it kill a fucking terminator? We need to hurry the fuck up, robot. Oh my god. Please. Oh my god. Okay, I'll... Okay, I'm, I'm going too fast. There you go. This is an explosive barrel. I rather not stand next to that. So can this plasma turret deal damage to the Terminator? Okay, let's hack this. So because it doesn't have anything... Oh my god. It doesn't really make sense to destroy it. Oh, it doesn't shoot the Terminator? Or it does? Who survived? The T-800 died? Fuck yeah! It has nothing. But, plasma weapons are good against Terminators! Ooh. Um, okay. Let's go this way. I just conclude this area. Hmm. Okay. Are we getting anywhere here? It feels like I'm just getting out the other way. But I could have entered. Yeah. Alright. Keep in mind, this is the highest difficulty. So. If there was no need for that on this one. I think I'm fine. I don't mind having it. Yeah. Hack very easy. Oh, man. go oh shit no holy fuck run okay I didn't think I missed here oh no it's on fire now oh shit come on turret you can do it I believe in you Fucking rough him up. I can knock it over for you. That's better. Okay. Oh! Skynet Plasma Air 95! What about the other one? Nice! So we actually, with this trick, managed to get their weapons. Over there. Four, maybe? My weapon skill is too low? Fuck. Oh. So at level 12, we will be able to use their weapons. And you definitely need to pump your weapon skill, else you just can't use their weapons. That means, uh, at level 11 and 12, I definitely want to put points into weapons. At least. So I will have some some extra points. I want some hacking. I don't know. We'll see what we need. Maybe some backpack. So where am I going? Out. Oh shit. This Terminator didn't have a gun. He's there. I can't see it. It doesn't matter. We got, we got one now. 
I'm not sure if he should keep one. Are you there? Oh yeah. I'm on my way out. Good job. I can see the soldiers leaving. But don't think it's done. Skynet's sending reinforcements. Where are we? Ooh, okay. We're going back to the start. At level 12, I will be able to fight Terminators with their own guns. T-800 patrol coming your way. Get some cover. Oh shit. Oh shit. Where'd I get that? That's a lot of... How am I supposed to sneak past that? Am I supposed to go back? Fuck me. We're going back. Oh, maybe this turret can deal with them. You just deal with them one by one. Actually, if I didn't destroy those turrets, that it would be a really nice uh, way to deal with them. They just come one by one. Is this how I'm supposed to do it? Oh, man. I don't think, well, we have two plans here, or two, two lines of play. Either we just try to knock down all the Terminators and the turret takes them all out, but I decided not to go for that. That just seems unlikely. Wait, the turret is gonna take them all out? How strong is this turret? Oh, that actually gives me experience? Go down. Shit. Is that the last remaining? Come on, turret. I believe in you. Holy fuck, that turret is awesome. Hacking it was so worth it. It's complete garbage against me. But against these guys? I can't, I can't take their guns. Okay. Wow. Turret hacking. Who would have thought? The best thing ever. Uh, what about my inventory here? So I have some... I can, we can just go for extra backpack space. Let's do that. Um, and I can pick up some of their guns maybe. It doesn't matter too much. Um, I kind of got turned around. Where are they? They were, they were here, like, clumped up and destroyed. And now they're kind of gone. What? Oh. I suspect that in, later in the game, uh, you just have to fight a shit ton of them. And this is how the game kind of handles that, you know, improves the performance. But now it looks a little silly. Like, oh. I just... Well, I, I didn't kill them, but... Oh, shit. Oh my god, I really hope that... You know, we dealt with all of them. Okay, the game does force you into sneaking. Which is fine. Apparently I'm getting spotted. Oh shit. No, there's no way I'm gonna... Fuck. <laughs> I, was, I was planning to throw my uh, distraction thingy. Hide. I'm getting spotted. We need to fucking go. Okay, time to go home. And I just came here to save the girl. And now I just ended up doing a whole full mission by myself. 
My entire squad was wiped out, but apparently I'm just so cool. I don't have even... Like, any, like, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe not, but, like, obviously I'm trying to blend in as a Terminator. And, uh... But, do I need to do all this? I guess it doesn't really matter. Quest updated, hospitality. Okay, we're back! We're back at base. It's good stuff. And I, I don't think we can save. There's just no saving at all. Anyway, guys, uh, that's for now. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.